Good morning Mr. Rill. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to implement a conspiracy of kindness. You will have a crack team of operatives to fulfill this mission. You and your team will go undercover as psychology students performing a study on emotional intelligence. At a local establishment, you will give the proprietor $50 American and tell him to buy the first beverage of everyone around. You will then record a survey about their overall level of joy before and after this event. Are you able to make someone's day better? If you or any team member becomes compromised, we will disavow all knowledge of this interaction. Tape will self-destruct in 5 seconds. Are you sure you want to interview me for this? Yes. Yes, okay, we need my you. Overall, okay. okay, what just happened? Um, did you order a beverage? I got a free beverage. And what? How did that make you feel? It makes me feel loved, and recognized, and present. Anything else? Not so thirsty.
did it change the way you felt at all other than that it did because because i i don't know a lot of people here so i appreciate it so it made you feel special it did it made me feel special cool <laughs> Like normally, overall. Did it make you feel better than you did before? It made me feel better than I felt in four or five months. Really? So that's good. That's that a lot. That is awesome. Because you are special. And uh, I think they know that, and I think that's why they did that. I don't know anything about it. Well, thank you. Yeah. shabba dabba do. Okay, Janetta. This is uh, the Janetta from my class. We're doing an interpersonal communication class, and we... Wanted you to take a survey, if that's okay. Really quick. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. So we want to thank you for coming to our um, survey today. So I'm going to ask you some questions. You just have to answer yes, no, one through five. So here we go. This is our emotional intelligence survey. All right. Generally, what is your overall level of happiness? Now, one is not at all happy, and five is extremely happy. All right, you pick. Okay, my overall happiness is a two. Next. Is your overall level of happiness more, less, or the same than it was yesterday at this time? That's a three-part question. More, less, or the same? Um, I would say it's the same. All right, question number three. Was there any one event that changed your emotions overall today? Yes or no? Uh, yes, there was an event. Can you describe this event that changed your emotion today? Just a quick short answer. Um, my parents both went into the hospital within days of each other. And how likely are you to share that emotion with others today? So, one being not at all likely, five being extremely likely. There you go. <laughs> not very likely. What would you say is your overall feeling of generosity? One, not at all generous. Or five, extremely generous. In terms of my generosity? Oh, I'm off the charts, sweetheart couple more questions. How generous do you feel compared to yesterday? Question is, more, less, or the same? I'm going to say a little bit more. I feel a little bit more happy and a little bit more generous than I, a little bit more generous than I did yesterday. How likely are you to share the next opportunity for generosity? Not at all likely being one and five being extremely likely. Five. Nah, a couple more. How likely are you to engage in acts of kindness today? One, not at all. Or five, extremely likely. Five. All right, here's a couple of questions. You just answer how you can. Wish overall joy from one to five yesterday, one or five? Two. Today, one or five? Yeah. Four. She's two. Today, one or five? I would say three. Before you arrived, one to five. Five. After you were here, one to five. Five. Okay, yes or no. Did you order food today? I did. Did you order a beverage today? I did. And do you want to submit your name? Oh, you can have my name if you, if you like. Yeah. It's Lisa Wood. W-O-O-D. You can tell us. And any overall feedback for the researchers of this survey? Um, no, I don't think so. Hope you had fun. Bye. Oh, shit. She's two. of the Arkansas River. I'm the old dominion in the rain. And I'm a windswept battlefield of Vicksburg. And I'm the last two minutes of the game. I'm an Indiana cornfield on a hot summer's day and the popsicle and the popcorn in the park. I'm Rams. I'm the old Kentucky home. 
I'm a politician cheater. I'm a two cheeseburger eater and a couple in the crowd and alone. I'm Jack, I'm Bobby, and I'm Martin Luther King. And with great sorrow, I've watched these young men die. And from riches and from rags, they buried them in flags, but they cared enough to try. I see my brothers beaten in the jungles of the cities, raped and pillaged on the plains. But that's all, that's the breaks. We all make mistakes. So did Jesus, for Christ's sake. And I'm willing to accept my share of the blame. I'm Abe Lincoln, I'm a slave, I'm a coward, I'm brave. I'm a wino, I'm a lid, I'm a Coca-Cola kid. I'm a two-cent lemonade and a five-inch parade. I'm country, I'm soul, and I'm the blues, and I'm rock and roll. And I don't stand for all the things my country is about, but there's one thing I stand up for, that's my country. Because nevertheless, I've been an American. Hey, Brian, you're going to be a Warren Miller one of these days. <laughs> That's how Warren Miller started out. You know that? What's that? Warren okay. Miller, right? Did all the movies. And see, uh, uh, Warren Miller. Oh, okay. The guy who puts movies together. Uh huh. So I said, Brian is going to be another Warren Miller. Yeah. Maybe so. And everybody, Maybe nobody understands what I'm talking about. I thought everybody knew what Warren Miller, it's not almost every movie you see, Warren Miller produced by. This is only for academic purposes. This isn't for a podcast? This is all for academic purposes. Well, just give me a bologna and a dill pickle, and I'll be happy. It's a podcast. Everything is. Everything is a podcast. Are you in a pod? <laughs> we got how many? We got three unipods here. We got three microphones that make a unipod and a camera. Must be how it is. Can you see that camera on your phone, Brian? Hickory dickory really? dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Dope. And the We're other recording. one survived with minor injuries. All right. This is as Alaskan as I'm going to get, is living it there here. Was, there was that one that went sideways. Oh, man. Uh, like they all, when Jane, I'm you know who Jane down, is, I'm, right? I'm, I'm driving down to the interstate, getting towards Hartford. Okay. And I'm coming down the hill. Huh? And there's a car. Okay. Yep, we were listening. Well, anyway, I'm coming down the hill on the Merritt Parkway, and there's a car that's crossing the two lanes. You know, there's a big island in the middle. You know what I'm talking about? So anyway, there's a big island in the middle. So I come down the hill, and the car stops right in my path. So I slammed the brakes on. I slid at an angle. And I used to race cars. I knew how to do that. I slid at an angle to go behind him. And just as I was ready to hit him, I let off on the brake. And I went right around behind him, man. Mm -hmm. That was a save. Save. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty neat. That was beautiful. Damn, that Thank was good. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for being here, Apple. We appreciate you coming. I know it's a little bit crazy. What we did, let me explain. We gave the bartender $50. We told her to buy drinks for everybody on the house, and we're going to survey them, see if they are more happy now than they were later. I want to see the dancing girls before. Well, I know. But, but I, we're trying we'll get to the get dancing some. Girls. We need some dancing we girls. We need some dancing girls. I agree. Little short skirts on. Like Little short skirts. <laughs> Yeah, like an Arab. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that. Marshall Arab stays. I think I have a. I think I have a kind customer that we can um, see what she says. 